Hello everyone, this is Rick Merman with Mercive Technologies and this is the Mercive Minute. If there's a topic you'd like to see me cover, please leave me a message down below and I'll be happy to get to it. Okay, so what happens if we walk into our office building on a Monday morning and we've got Solstice enabled displays everywhere? Or we go to a client's uh, site and they have Solstice enabled displays and we want to share content. Well, today I'm going to take a look at sharing content via the application. That's our most feature rich piece of software for, for sharing content to the display. We really have four ways to share to a display. You can use the app, you can do AirPlay, you can do Miracast, and you can share from the browser. We're gonna concentrate just on the application portion today. You'd get the application one of two ways. Either your IT slash AV department would roll it out to all of your laptops, uh, if you're working in a building that might have Solstice displays. So you just show up on Monday, the application is on your desktop, you launch the app when you want to connect. The other way, which is how we're going to do it, or we show up at a client site, we've never downloaded Solstice before, and we're going to follow the instructions on the screen to connect to the display. So we take a look at it here, it says open a web browser and navigate to this address. We're going to do exactly that. So let me share my desktop with you here. And I am going to point my uh, browser at that address. Now it takes us directly to this page. It says, welcome to Rick's demo pod, get the app and join. Okay, so here you download directly from the pod. It is a user-based download. You don't need admin rights to download this piece of software. So we're gonna click get the app and join and it starts to download automatically. We're gonna launch that. And when we do, it is going to launch the Solstice software that's going to enable us to connect to any display that we want. We only have to download it once, the very first time. Any time after that, we just launch the application. We see here the four digit key is 7461. That is a constantly rotating four digit key. So every connect and disconnect, it will change. So 7461 and let's connect. And now it brings us to the display screen that gives us a bunch of options for connecting via the application. We can share via the desktop. So think old school HDMI cable, right? You wanna plug it in, whatever's on your desktop is sharing to the screen. We can share an app window. If you just wanna share Excel, PowerPoint, AutoCAD, whatever the case may be, you can share that up to the display. And then lastly, we've got media files. So you want to share photographs that you took. You've got some video that you want to go over. Whatever the case may be for that, you can connect for that as well. So we're going to connect via the desktop. I select desktop. And when I do that, it's sharing my desktop directly up to the display. Okay, nothing fancy there. That is a very basic session. However, I also have some photographs and a couple videos that I want to review with the team during our meeting. Well, what's interesting about Mersive is that you can share multiple pieces of content from the same device. So I'm sharing my desktop now, but I also want to share a bunch of pictures that I've got. So I'm going to pull up a bunch of pictures and videos here. And now you can see on the screen behind me, I've got six different pieces of content all being shared from my laptop. Now let's take that a step further. If I go to the layout tab here on my desktop, I can curate this content. I can drag things around wherever I want. So let's take a look at the uh, laptop small here. So I can drag things over to the taskbar so you can see how efficient this would be. You've got a meeting where you've got 10 pieces of content that you wanna cover. You connect, you drag all of your stuff over. It's as simple as dragging it back out to take a look at it again. I can curate and move things around however I want. I can pull things into full screen if I want to concentrate on something. Okay, we're done with that. Now let's take a look at this graphic as, as it pertains to that. I can curate this content. Where things get really interesting is that we can do this from multiple devices. So I have got a laptop here, or I'm sorry, an iPad here. I can do it from a Android device, Windows device, an iOS device, whatever I want. I downloaded the app from the app store and I go to Rick's demo pod again. I enter in the screen key and now I am connected. The file or the application looks exactly the same as it does on Windows. So I can move things and I can curate content if I want to. Okay, but let's talk about this. Let's uh, see how it relates to that. I can move things however I want. I can add my own content. 
So I'm selecting media file here. I'm just going to add a couple pictures of my own so that I am sharing content as well. So now I've got my content shared. The Windows laptop has their content shared. We are dragging things around. We are both curating content at the same time. And these, this application updates real time. So both of these apps are gonna be the same. So we're able to take a look at anything we want and we can discuss things in a very fluid collaborative manner. Multiple people can connect. We can have five different people connected all with one piece of content. We don't have to share a dongle or a cable around. We all just show our content in any fashion that we feel comfortable with. For more information about this, please visit Mersive.com. This is Rick Merman with Mersive Technologies, and we'll talk again soon.